Hello, my name is Philip. I'm the founder and CEO of Makersuite. And today I'm going to show you how to research a topic for your YouTube channel using our software. So first of all, you have to uh, log in to Makersuite. And then coming into the program, what you see is you have four different entry points into our product at the top. The one that we will be focusing on today in this video is going to be the research a topic tile. And what I want you to do is I want you to start an exploration and then I want you to type in the keyword that you want to research and I will make this a very simple one so how to start a youtube channel and then i will start the exploration the tip here is either you type in a full sentence or you type in a maximum of three different keywords that you separate with a comma and then we start the exploration and what happens then is that maker suite is going to look on youtube what other creators have created for that keyword and this will take a couple of minutes as we are analyzing a couple of hundred videos simultaneously. And then we will give you a report that you can analyze. And so that we don't have to wait during this tutorial, I've already completed the search before. And what we will now do is we will click on the view report button and then we can access the report. And this will save you hours of research and I will now show you how to analyze this report. So at the top, uh, there is a top five videos idea section. This is basically the, uh, all these ideas at the top are generated based on the data that sits below. And we have a drop down menu that shows you all the different content topics that we have found. And I will tell you in a, in a couple of seconds what these exactly are, but let's ignore the the top section for this moment in time and let's look at the report and what we have found so for this keyword that we typed in we have analyzed 336 different videos that have been produced by 142 different youtube channels uh, in uh, aggregate they have accumulated over 230 million views and we have clustered these 336 videos into 14 different topics these 14 topics we then map out on this two-dimensional graph with a y-axis that shows you the relevance score and on the x-axis we show you the quality score. So what does this mean? The y-axis, the higher up the bubble, i.e. the topic, the more relevant this topic is going to be for the keyword that you've typed in. So in our case, how to start a YouTube channel, all these bubbles that are here, they're very relevant to your keyword search term. And then on the X axis, we show you the quality score and the quality score is an indication of how saturated each of these topics is. So to explain this in a little bit more detail on the topic clusters that you find here on the left hand side, we will have videos that on average perform below the average, the view average that the channel that has published this content piece usually gets. And on the right hand side, we will show you um, the topic clusters where the videos that are in that topic cluster on average perform above uh, the view average that this YouTube channel, for instance, gets. So. To make this even more tangible, imagine a YouTube channel with a million subscribers and that channel produced a video that got 3 million views. This video is going to pop up in this topic cluster. If you have the same YouTube channel producing a video that is um, maybe only getting 2000 uh, views uh, for a specific video, or maybe only 5,000 or 20,000 or 200,000. If the average of the, the views that each of the videos gets from that channel and is, is maybe 500K, then this, will, uh, this video will pop up in one of these topic clusters here. And the reason for that is that these topic clusters here, there's a lot of different YouTube channels producing content for these bubbles, for these topics, but they don't get the amount of views that other videos from the same channel uh, get that perform a little bit better. And the reason for that is that uh, many YouTube channels uh, produce content 
and therefore uh, the audience is fragmented they have a lot of different videos to choose from and the topic is already saturated on its way to be saturated and on the right hand side the opposite is the case right so you have maybe higher demand than supply and therefore the videos that have been produced get a lot of attention from people we then can click on these bubbles and what you will see is that you get an in-depth analysis of this of this topic so for example this topic is called youtube channel creation and what you will find is that we have identified 17 videos that go into this topic cluster they've generated 12 million views they've created this engagement and those are common tags that these videos are, are using and then what you will find is uh, an in-depth list of the videos that make up this bubble on this chart and then you can click on one of the videos let's take the first one and then what you will get is you will get two different data sections for this video so first of all you can you can watch this video you get the basic numbers here and this is a perfect example right um, so it's a, a YouTube channel with 2 million subscribers and the video got 10 million views so definitely uh, performing above average and then what you also see is um, that this is a this is a good performance score um, and then you can see the watch intensity so this is the attention that each section of the video gets in relation to other parts um, of that video so for example um, we can look here at minute 346 um, that is um, apparently the, the highest peak of attention for this video and then what you can do is you can go to advanced insights and in advanced insights what maker suite does it basically gives you a short summary of the whole video it also gives you the outline of the video and basically all the different chapters and most important talking points that this video is about we show you the common words used in this video and then we also show you the transcript right so previously i was looking at this peak which is at three minutes and 44 seconds or 45 seconds let's go to advanced insights and then scroll down to three minutes and um, the 44 seconds and then what you can do is you can basically read the section here and figure out okay what is the youtuber or um, the channel talking about in the section should i maybe also talk about um, this topic because it was um, apparently so important for people who watched it what you can then also do is you can go into um, the youtube video itself you can um, uh, and you can you can look at um, look at the section yourself you can look at the images that were used in that section and then figure out if you want to create something similar let's now close this and let's look at the, all the other topic clusters that we have identified so you will see that all these different bubbles here on the side they correlate directly correlate to the bubbles on this graph here and uh, this was the notification that um, the report that i started at the beginning of this video is now finished um, but we can ignore this because it's um, going to be a very similar report to this one and um, you can obviously also use this table um, to sort these different topic clusters the way you like you can see the the ones that perform the poorest you can look at the ones that perform the best you can look at the, the, those who have the highest relevance for you and the topic clusters that you should be looking at are those with the highest relevance for your channel and those with the highest quality score as well the reason we have this graph here because it's very easy to understand what topics you should be focusing on um, and also um, we have divided this graph into four different quadrants so <clears throat> the bottom left uh, we call a void because it doesn't have high relevance to your keyword and it's also very likely that it's saturated then these topics here they are very relevant to your keyword um, but there's already a lot of stuff happening um, in in that space um, so you might look at this because um, it is relevant um, but you you should be aware that there's probably um, a lot of supply serving the demand in these topic clusters 
and then here we have low relevancy to your keyword but we have uh, when you look at these topic clusters so for example study strategies and language you see that this is not necessarily very very relevant to your keyword but maybe if you analyze this topic clusters in the video in here you can find a creative way um, to build a bridge from the topic to your keyword and then obviously we have the top right corner um, where we have a lot of demand and we have a high relevancy uh, to your keyword and therefore look at those first and then if you don't find much here that you like go to these two um, and ignore this one and um, maybe let me also explain to you why some of these topics are so not are not related to your keyword and the reason is that how makersuite conducts the research is very simple you type in the keyword and then we analyze youtube um, and hundreds of videos on youtube and we basically emulate the youtube algorithm and the recommendation system of youtube and from your own experience what you will know is that you might start off with one topic so for example how to become a good youtuber and how to create good content for youtube um, but then the YouTube algorithm recommends many other things. So for example, maybe content about the passion economy, maybe content about selling your own digital product, maybe content about drop shipping, or maybe even content about accounting or marketing. And then the further you go away um, from these topics, um, the more um, other topics are uh, recommended by the YouTube algorithm that are not super closely related to your initial keyword. And then having analyzed all this, and obviously you can spend some time here and go into depth, um, what Makersuite also does, and now we go back to the, the top section of um, the Video Content Explorer, is this drop-down menu is a list of all these 14, 14 different um, topics that we have identified. And then you can click on one of those so let's take this one because this was the one um, that was best performing and then what will make what maker suite will do is it will automatically um, give you a recommendation of a video title and um, um, uh, basically a video that you should be creating if you don't like this idea you can always regenerate the idea um, and um, get more ideas from Maker Suite or recommendations from Maker Suite what uh, you could be creating. And um, uh, yeah, here you see you have five more ideas. And then um, the next step would be to actually go into create a project. And um, you can now brief the Maker Suite AI to write this content piece for you. Um, but I will show uh, you in the next video how this is done. And I hope uh, you try the Video Content Explorer um, for yourself and play a little bit uh, with it and um, hopefully save a lot of time doing your own research.